Hello, Les from Thailand again. It's been a little while since I made some videos, so I'll produce a few more videos now. Um, and today's video is going to be about living in Thailand fairly cheaply. Now, there's a number of ways that you can do that. You can start a little small business and you can earn a little bit of money from that. Um, I've been living in Thailand now for eight years and through experience, I've seen various people make a living from a business and also fail from a business and my personal experience which i'll tell you about is a little coffee shop that i i bought in ban Pei. up a little side street so not walking traffic but it was next to four taxi offices which made a bit bit of a difference so the rent that we paid for that shop house was three thousand baht per month so we lived upstairs and we ran the coffee shop downstairs. Um, it was very, very basic. It needed a bit of work doing to it. So we modernized the upstairs. So we had a separate bedroom, separate living room, a small kitchen and a separate bathroom. And downstairs, we made it into a, a nice coffee shop. Didn't cost a lot of money to convert it, um, but it, it worked okay. It didn't never made a lot of money between 15 and 20,000 baht per month. But when you think of it, that you're only paying 3,000 baht for accommodation upstairs and being able to run a business downstairs is very, very cheap living. So anybody that wants to run a little business, find a little shop house somewhere. The rents are very, very cheap, live upstairs and operate a little business downstairs, bag shop, souvenir shop, where passing tourists are taxi offices so people can come in and browse. Another good little business that a friend of mine is selling also is a bookshop. Place the bookshop near a taxi office or where people congregate and you're always going to get people who are going to browse in and out of the, in and out of the bookshop because many people still like to have a book rather than reading the Kindle. Um, for anybody that's interested in, in buying the bookshop, just give us an email on the email address down below and I'll tell you about it. It's on a seaside location. The shop itself overlooks the sea and I think that's about 5,000 baht a month to live upstairs and run the bookshop downstairs. Very, very cheap accommodation in a lovely location. Um, also, I've got another friend who runs a guest house, three bedroom guest house, but that makes him enough money to live virtually rent free from where he's, where he's living now and also gives him the communications with people all over the world. Um, he does that business, he's been doing that now for a number of years, doesn't make a lot of money but it's enough to give him for free accommodation where he lives. So again there's, there's three little things that you can do that never is going to cost you a lot of money to, to do or buy the business but it gives you enough money to be able to live on over here. Like I said in my previous videos, I live on 50,000 baht per month. I live in a nice two bedroom detached house in the countryside, five minutes away from um, the beach, about 30 minutes away from Koh Samet. Um, so the location here is cheap to live. My rent here that I pay for, it, for this house is 12,000 baht per month. So for those people who want to live on a budget, I would suggest having a look at the Rayong area, Ban Pei, Chak Pong, Li Me Pim. The house prices over here are very, very much cheaper than living in Pattaya. If you want to live in Thailand on a budget, move out of Pattaya, move out of Bangkok. Move around to various areas. I've lived in Chiang Mai, I've lived in Pai, I've lived in Phuket, I've lived in Krabi, I've lived in Koh Chang. So I've lived in many, many places and where I live now in Rayong is probably the best place in Thailand because it's very, very close to everywhere that you need to be. Two and a half hours to the airport, three hours to Bangkok, one and a half hours to Pattaya. So it's very good living here, cheap living. So if you need to know any more details, we have a number of houses that we can rent or we, we have a number of people that landlords and landladies willing to rent the house out to for short term or long term. 
So look at this area, give it a look, come over here, live for a month, and then you see what the area is like. So if you've got any questions, please send an email down below. If you like the video, give it a like. If you don't like the video, place your comments. I'm always interested in hearing what people have to say. So until the next video, from Les, still living the dream in Thailand. Bye for now.